Another standard year passes in the galaxy under the glorious reign of the Galactic Empire, for it feels like an age ago since our great Emperor Palpatine ended the Clone Wars and founded our triumphant empire. Across the galaxy, Imperial citizens alike join in their festivities of a week-long celebration of Ascension Week. I remember the first Empire Day. By the Emperor was it something to behold. To live an entire year of peace under the new society our Emperor had built us is a worthy cause of celebration. The flyover of V-Wings shooting fireworks above the Coruscant skyline, draped in Imperial flags, in sync of the marching band on the streets below, swelling to the glory of the Empire as the crowds of loyal Imperial citizens roar and cheer, blessing the streets in red and white confetti. As the years progressed, TIE variants replaced the V-Wing with a new shine to the Stormtrooper armor, shadowed by the monolithic armored transports and tanks. Parades of the Empire's fine machinery strolled alongside the marching troopers, with their heads held high, proud to serve the Empire. Those in the higher echelon of governors, imperial officers and royal delegates are annually invited to the Imperial Ball at the Alessandra Hotel, what housed one of the biggest ballrooms in the Federal District of Coruscant. Outside of the Core Worlds, Empire Day is a chance for industries nationalised by the Empire to showcase their designs and prototypes, inspiring economic growth while serving the Galactic Empire. Such a shame as tensions grew on the outer rim that the cause of celebration can quickly turn into a target for terrorists. <laughs>